channel, Susan Cooks Vegan. I'm Susan, and of course, we'll be cooking some vegan today. But today, it's not just any regular vegan, it's dessert, or more like candy. If you've ever had a crunchy candy bar, you are gonna love this. It's called Honeycomb Candy, and it's dipped in a delicious chocolate, and they make great gifts. The holidays are quickly approaching, whether you like it or not. And these make a great holiday gift from your friends, family, neighbors. Um, I just buy these uh, canisters from the dollar store, fill it with tissue, and they make a great gift. You can give them by itself or with my maple cinnamon snowflake cookies I just posted on Susan Cooks Vegan or my stained glass candy cookies or my best ever vegan chocolate chip cookies. I have lots to choose from. So again, these make a great gift, and if you just want to keep them all to yourself, no one's gonna know. Okay, so stay with me, I'm gonna show you how to make these. A little trick when adding the corn syrup is I sprayed my measuring cup with a little bit of non-stick spray. You can see it all just comes right out. And this is just water, a third of a cup of water. And we're going to mix this all up. And make sure you have a really big pot. You can see how much room I have because this honeycomb is really gonna grow in the pot. So make sure uh, you have a big one because it can spill over and that would be a very big mess you do not want in your kitchen. So we're just gonna stir this until it's combined. And this is on, on high heat, this is on max. Okay. We're gonna put our candy thermometer on the edge. We want this to get to 300 degrees. Okay, it is almost getting to 300 degrees. That is the hard crack stage of candy. So I'm gonna get ready with the baking soda. And I have not stirred this once the entire time. So once it gets to 300, I'm gonna take this thermometer out quickly. So we don't want the candy getting on it. So exciting. It's almost there. one of those things you don't want to be under but you don't want to be over. Okay, I think it's pretty safe. Good. Let's do it. We can turn the heat off and put in this is baking soda, not powder. And you see it's gonna blow up. It's gonna puff up. And we just want to stir it about five times. Make sure it's clockwise because we don't want to lose the puffiness of it. Pour it in a parchment line bowl. Oh, you can see some of the baking powder I hadn't got in, so I'm just gonna give this a quick mix. Get that in. Make sure it all gets into the candy. And there you go. So there is the finished honeycomb. You can see it is just golden brown and delicious. It is bubbling still because of the baking soda. And you wanna make sure you guys always wear your gloves, your oven mitts when you're cooking. 
especially when you're working with sugar because sugar burns are the worst. So we're gonna leave this in this container, or this pan rather, for at least two hours at room temperature. Do not put it in the fridge, otherwise you will get hard, sticky candy, and that's not what we want. We want this to be beautiful and crispy so we can coat it in yummy chocolate. There you go, wasn't that easy? So here we have the finished honeycomb. And you can see how nice and hard that is. That's perfect candy, what we want. So first step to coat these in chocolate is make sure you have a really nice quality vegan chocolate. I like these in Joy Life. Um, this is not an ad, I wish it was. Um, <laughs> but um, just make sure that your, your chocolate that you choose is of high quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt this. You can either use a double boiler or the microwave um, to melt it gently. Just make sure that if you do use a double boiler that it's sealed because we don't want any water to get into the chocolate. As soon as we get water, it will seize. So if your chocolate starts going crumbly, it's seized and you have to throw it away. So, be right back. Okay, so I've melted my chocolate. Here, you can see it's beautiful and silky and glistening. I see a little bit of lumps left. We don't want that. Let's stir it around. Okay, great. Now, here is the fun part. Okay, we get to smash it. Ready? Woo -hoo! Oh, that <laughs> just made a hole. Don't use the end. Look at that. That looks so nice. Oh, crispy. Okay, let's do it a bit more. Woo! Flying around my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. And want bite sized pieces. Perfect. So if you can see all the nice bubbles. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just take this. Dip it in our chocolate. And here you go. Place it on a baking tray. Yum, yum. Thanks for following along. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I love it. Your family's gonna love it. And you know what? You're gonna love it too, because I know we're gonna sample these as we're cooking, right? And see, I covered mine with some gold leaf. You don't have to be so fancy schmancy, but I had some in my cupboard. Um, so you can really do what you want with these. So they're delicious, they're easy, and they're great for the holidays. So as always, like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming recipes. Um, check out SusanCooksVegan.com for more cookie recipes. I have the snowflake uh, maple cinnamon cookie I just posted. I have a really good chocolate chip recipe. I have a shortbread recipe. So um, make sure to go there um, for more cookie recipes for this holiday season. And as always, like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming recipes. And till next time, guys, happy holidays and happy cooking. Till next time.